Hey everyone, in this video I wanted to show you something very very cool, namely the TIA portal add-ins. The TIA add-ins were introduced in version 16 and what they are, they are small chunks of code meant to improve the functionality of TIA portal. So some of you might already know openness. TIA portal openness is used to generate TIA portal projects. So you write a bit of code in language like C sharp and this code gets executed, it drives TIA via its API and generates your entire project. Very, very cool. But TIA add-ins are based on openness, but they are not meant to generate entire projects. They are just meant to bring extra functionality into TIA. So add-ins, as we read here, are a convenient way to expand the functionality of TIA via the OpenS API. They will, would be written as .NET programs and they can be conveniently passed on in a company and even distributed to third-party providers. What all this means is you can write small programs, integrate them in TIA, use them to drive the TIA from within, and these get distributed as small .addin files, so the installation is very, very simple. Now, Siemens provides a few sample add-ins for you, and also uh, an example of add-in and a little getting started showing you how you can make these add-ins. What I wanted to show you in this video is one of the example add-ins uh, and how to use it, you know, uh, how do you uh, approach installation of an add-in and, and how does it work. So one of these examples is this FCFB converter. If you used TI before, you know that when you create a function, you can't actually easily just, you know, right click, change it to a function block. Now you need to create a new function block and copy things over. This maybe isn't ideal. So there you go. We have an add-in that can take care of it for you. It will uh, export the, the FC in the background and then make an FB out of it or the other way around. So what we can actually do, we can either download an add-in uh, and its description, or we can actually download the Visual Studio project. So depending on whether you're interested in just the functionality, or if you're interested in how it works, you download uh, either of them. I just want to show you how the add-ins uh, work, so I'm just interested in, in having one of these add-ins. So after downloading it, I can extract it here quickly. And what we'll find inside is we'll find install instructions, .addin file uh, and some manuals in English and German. If we check the install instructions, it tells us, okay, that's quite easy. I think I can handle. So all I need to do is I need to grab the .addin file and I need to copy it to this place. So I go into this PC, C, program files, uh, Siemens, automation, portal v16, add-ins. Yeah, so I guess I just should copy it here. But first, let's fire up TI. So we fire up V16 quickly. Okay, TI is open now. If you haven't noticed before, on the right hand side here, you have this add-ins tab. It is currently empty. As you can see, you have no add-ins. Let's see what happens after I copy. Oh no, okay, I think I still have it here. After I copy my add-in in here. There you go. So I copy the add-in, go back into TI bit of a lag. There you go. We now have this FCFB converter add-in. The X means it's disabled. Let's quickly create a project add-in. Okay, we have our project. Uh, let's quickly add VLC. Okay, in this VLC, let's add ourselves a new function. Okay, function. Let's call this function and, uh, oh, uh, analog input, like in our uh, other video. And now imagine that I have this analog input and it's a function, okay? So it only has temps. Um, it, doesn't has, it doesn't have any static values. I'd like to change how it works. I'd like the temps uh, to maybe, maybe be statics. So if we uh, remember our analog, it could be raw value here could be an output. I'll be doing some calculations inside. Uh, so I will also have a temp um, normalized value. Let's stick to this. This is going to be a real, a real 
this is going to be an int yeah and now imagine that inside here i have a bit of a code let's say no max yeah i grab this zero two seven yeah output is normalized value then i will scale it if you don't know where this is coming from please do check out my, my other video um we'll do zero to 100 this and then and then we have where is our output our output yeah all good now okay so i have this code now I decide, you know what, I actually needed to be a function block uh, because this maybe I, I want to reuse it. This should be uh, saved somewhere or I want to save some functions, some things, some data. So I want this to be NFB. So normally what you'd have to do, you need to add new block, make it NFB, copy things over and change. OK, but what's so great is the add-ins allow us to add functionalities like this. And th this isn't the only add-in. This is just a very, very basic example of what an add-in could be doing. So if I now activate this add-in. I agree to uh, apply all these permissions that it is asking me, access to all these different things in TIA. Yeah, add it is now um, enabled. If I right click and go here, as you can see now we have this add-in, add -ins, FCFB converter. This is the menu to control our add-in. So we have different options. I can decide what to do with the return value if I'm converting FC to FB, uh, what to do with the um, static variables, if I'm converting an FB to NFC, do I want to remove the instances? What do I want to do? Uh, yeah, that's all good. Just going to convert it to NFB and see if it works for me. So what it's doing in the background, it's actually using OpenS to export this block in semantic ML format and then re-import it back as a function block. So there you go. We now moved it. If I was interested in this being a static, I can just move it, change the name. There you go. Our FC is now NFB. And this is how easy it is to uh, download, install, and use add-ins. But again, these are just examples. And the real power of add-ins is in you guys created uh, your very own add-ins. If you have any questions uh, about add-ins, please do let me know in the comments. There is one another add-in uh, provided by Siemens in the same place that's very, very cool and I will show it to you uh, in my next video. Thanks for watching and bye.